this is just gonna be a random video, just like a chill type vibe, checking up on you guys, seeing how you guys are doing, and just getting you up to speed with what, how we're doing and what's going on in our environment right now. Just came back from the store. Paige is like making a mess. Our grocery stores, there's a line prior to uh, entering the store. If you're going first thing in the morning out here, you have to wait in hours to let anyone who's 60 or older shop prior. So I was out there waiting online. I was able to get some stuff. I got a lot of fruits. I got a lot of vegetables. Protein, we're still a little scarce on protein, but we're able to make the best of this. Olive bread here, this was freshly baked at Trader Joe's for our cheat meals so we can make like um, at home cheat meals with this. And of course I'm cutting this pineapple here. Can't beat Paris Hilton. I don't know if you guys seen where she was making the lasagna with the gloves. I've had a long day as usual. Okay, I'm gonna get another piece of cheese because I'm scared. I'm gonna start grinding. But anyway, um, cutting this pineapple, I'm about to make a shake. the pineapple and I've been really addicted to these like um, I got they they were on sale for two for five so I got the pineapples from Whole Foods and what else did I get I got a lot of other like mostly just produce more so I was trying to stay away from a lot of processed foods because uh, and predominantly consume whole nutritious fruits and vegetables because um, I want my immune system to be nice and strong. So we're gonna do that instead. And I got this probiotic drink here, sparkling tonic. This is how we normally eat on a regular basis. It's not because of this whole virus scare. It's causing us to be more health conscious. It's just more so let you into our world. So we already prepared our sea moss. Yeah, I posted a video of the sea moss and a lot of you was like, oh my God, what is that? Some people thought they were noodles. Some people didn't know what it was, but pretty much sea, sea moss has, is high in vitamins and minerals. And in another video, I'll go more in depth of the benefits of sea moss. So this is prepared, that, that noodle shape picture that you've seen or the noodle picture you've seen on our community. This is what it looks like after it's blended and it's prepared. So this is the sea moss. And I'm gonna add that to my shake. Right, Paige? So we have our baby spinach, always organic. And I hope you guys, as I'm making a shake, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your families are safe during this time because it's crazy. A lot of loved ones are in the hospitals. A lot of brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers are losing loved ones. So it's just more so, it's, it's a crazy time right now. Texture of the sea moss is similar to like applesauce, or if you're making it hot, I've seen, I noticed one video on YouTube, somebody made like a cream of wheat type of um, cereal with sea moss. So it's all dependent on how you want to prepare it, but predominantly most people put sea moss in a shake. My strawberries, I got my berries, I have my pineapple. Blueberries, those are high in antioxidants. Got the pineapple. almond milk I use unsweetened almond milk and now a little bit of honey okay I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to enhance the flavors Ralph isn't a big fan of the pinch of salt but I enjoy it all right All right. Can I put this up? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty refreshing. Not as sweet as I would like it to be, but it's really refreshing. All right, so I'm laying out what I also picked up. I got some carrots to make legume. So we have the baby 
now this is a regular sized cabbage. I'm taking the bad pieces off of the cabbage. So we have some cabbage, we have carrots, we have some eggplant. We also have this special squash, but this is like a vegetable stew that I'm making. That, um, oh no, I got a bad one. Cause it's punctured. See, next time I'll know to just completely unwra unwrap the, uh, that's so frustrating. All right, I don't need two. I'll be all right with just one cause I'm not making a big pot. So we have this, this, and I'm making a vegetable base, um, just, just to put it on the side as a vegetable. Meats and protein are gonna be separate because we don't have a lot. They didn't have a lot in the stores either. We're just gonna make like a vegetable soup. I also have, I'm prepping my beets and carrots on the side as well. And just, just gonna be like a big meal prep so I won't have to cook every day. Past video, please be safe out there. Uh, please take in your, your fruits and veggies because it's so important to build your immune system up at this time. And just to stay healthy by consuming healthy foods and exercising when you can. When we go, we're, we're able to step out. We practice social distancing, but you can still go to the park if need be. You can still walk around the track or do whatever it is that you can do outside with still practicing social distancing. You can call a friend, call a friend, check up on someone to see how they're doing. Cause sometimes the, I, I think this is a good and bad thing that this has happened because it slows us down and it makes us appreciate the little things in life a little bit more and it builds and it's helping us to build healthier relationships all right so we got some more stuff i got the avocados of course we have some plantain green plantain i'll either boil these and if i'm feeling like having this for a cheat meal again we'll fry them the avocado oil or sunflower oil so that's that we have some bananas. Some bananas are going bad, so I'm gonna make some type of dessert with this. A healthier dessert with the ones that are going bad. Don't wanna waste it. I have some basmati rice here. I'm gonna put in my little storage containers. Got to do. I'ma make it loud how I made you scream like a cockatoo.